Hello everyone, today we will speak about Java Google Translator. So let's go on the main page. What we see here on the Google Translate is we can select one language and we write the text and we select another target language. For example, here I have selected English and I want to translate on Greek. So how are you on English is posise on Greek. So let's see the URL right here. What we see actually, the original language is English. So we have the code N, the target language is Greek. So we have the code L. I hope this is recording and you will say to me, what if I want to add Urdu? Okay, look here, the code change to Ur. So, okay, this is in Urdu. What that means? These are ISO 639 codes. Every language actually in the world has its own ISO 639 code. Google Translate is using this and we will use it. Let's go on the code. So I have four lines here. Okay, I want to translate how are you on four different languages on Igbo. I'm using ig, on Greek I'm using l, on Hausa I'm using ha, on Yoruba I'm using yo. You can see here it has translated how are you on these four languages, on Igbo for example is keduka, mer, and going on. So which library we have used for that? We have used Java Google Speech APA, which is a library hosted on GitHub, supported by me. And actually it is for Java 8 and above. All right. You can use it for the moment, the version 2.0 for Java 7, but in the future I will use only Java 8. Okay. So that's until now. I want you to see this video carefully to understand the concept. And I will continue these tutorials showing you how to build the code in the next video. Thanks for watching.